Society, we shouldn't really be building walls at all. We should, in fact, be taking them down. And as an artist, you know, artists generally don't want to have boundaries. We want to be able to move beyond those artificial boundaries because by actually opening yourself up to other cultures, you know, that's how you create, that's how you learn a lot. And I think that, you know, the progress we've made in the past few years, um, it's quite alarming to see that, you know, in America, you know, Trump's talking about putting up walls. Um, there's going to be a wall up in Calais. And when the Berlin Wall came down, you know, it was a moment of excitement, enthusiasm. So why do you put a globe on the head of a classical sculpture? Well, I think, you know, classical sculpture is the kind of an iconic Western high culture. And I felt that the globe is universal. And that is, it's more of an inclusive symbol. And so that's why I've done that. And wh why, the, why the colors and the patterns? Well, I am very well known for using African textiles in my, in my work. But the origins of those textiles are quite multifaceted. And the textiles are Indonesian influenced fabrics produced by the Dutch and then sold in West Africa. And I like the, the fact that you know, something that has its origin in one culture is actually better known in another culture. So do you dislike cultural identity? Well, you know, there is such a thing as geographical identity, but I think that cultural identity can be hybrid. You know, I have no understanding of people who think that you always have to do the one thing. You know, imagine you thought, okay, you know, I'm English, I'm only ever going to eat English food and drive English cars. I mean, you would live in a very strange place because why not enjoy what the world has to offer you? And that does not mean that somehow you've lost your Englishness or your Britishness just because you have an open mind. How have you felt about Britain and being in Britain since the referendum? We've made so much progress in Britain. Um, you know, in the last sort of 50 years or so, it's become completely unacceptable to be racist. Uh, but since Brexit, you know, people have been openly racist, people have been attacked in the streets, and I think it's essentially un-British. You've taken Da Vinci's perfect man. Yes. And superimposed an African woman. This symbol is traditionally white male. And I wanted to actually turn that around and confuse the issue a bit by creating this ambivalent figure. Opening ourselves up to other cultures doesn't seem to be the dominant ideology at the moment, does it? Well, you know, I think it's rather, rather odd. I mean, imagine the world civilizations without the influence of other cultures. I mean, imagine Britain without Rome. You know, imagine Rome without Greece. You couldn't imagine it, could you? You know, so you do have to um, build from what you've learned from other people. And that's been the essence of human civilization throughout history. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.